So you want to know how to square your UV maps for anime shading? Not a problem. Honestly, I'm usually on autopilot when I do my art, so I had to record myself in order to figure out what's going through my own head when I'm doing this. But I think that I've broken the square UV map process into two distinct techniques. And you'll be able to see how I applied these techniques to this laser rifle, which is a weapon that the player will unlock after defeating an enemy virus. So once you've got the colors, usually the first thing that I do is go to edit mode and separate everything. I've just moved all the black areas to the white, all the gray areas to the left, and the light gray areas to the top. From here, I break the model into small parts and square them up one at a time. Now, the most common technique that I find myself using is the project from view. If the model is exactly the same on the left and right side, usually I will select both sides, go to the left view, press U, and project from view. Once I've got the sides cut out, I'll go to the back side, mark a seam, hold alt, and left click to select all the outer faces. Press U to unwrap the whole thing, and then square it up with a line X and a line Y. So project from view, make a seam, unwrap the rest, square it up, and rinse and repeat. If I think that two faces are similar enough, I'll usually go ahead and stack them on top of each other in order to save even more space. So the final UV piece will look something like this. Now the second technique is specifically for cylinders. First I create a seam that goes straight through one side of the model, hold alt, and left click to select all the outer faces. Press U, follow active quads, and it should plop out nice and neat. Then I'll hold alt again, left click the lids, U, unwrap, then turn off the arrows, align Y, align X, turn the arrows back on, make sure all the faces are selected, select the square face last, unwrap, and follow active quads. You're done. Now, something that I've often been asked is how do you decide the organization after everything is squared? And my answer is pretty simple. You organize things based on size. So if we were looking at the light gray areas, the biggest pieces are clearly here, here, and here. So you want to make sure that those UVs take up more space than the smaller areas. Do not make the mistake of making every Everything evenly sized. It makes no sense to have this UV the same size as this UV. Once you have squared out each color, ask yourself which colors are the most important. I personally think the main color on this weapon is the dark gray. So I'm gonna make sure that the dark gray areas take up the most space. Conversely, I'm gonna make sure that the black UVs take up the least amount of space since black is the least common color on the weapon. Alright, well, hope that helps. If you join me next video, I'll show you how to apply square UVs to a more complicated high poly model. So please look forward to that and as always hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.